if you're heading to a Super Bowl party tomorrow and don't know the first thing about football. Not rust me. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great to impress your friends with some real knowledge of the game? We are here to help, and being the early show, we don't fool around. <laughs> we brought in former New York Jets and Cleveland Browns head coach Eric Mangini, the man genius, who won three, count them, three Super Bowl rings with the New England Patriots. Yeehaw. Eric is going to make us look smart just in time for the big game. Eric, it is great to have you coach, here. Coach, good to have you. It's great to be here. I like the man genius title. I haven't <laughs> heard that in a while. Thank you. <laughs> hey, we're happy to grant it. Okay, we're at the game tomorrow. We want to be smart. What can we say at this game right off the bat, to, to borrow a, a, a metaphor from another sport, <laughs> <laughs> to make people think that we're really smart about this stuff? Well, I think in, in looking at the teams, when you look at, at the Steelers, one of the greatest things about them is they've had continuity over time. They've had three head coaches in the last 42 years. That's it, three head coaches in the last 42 years. Yeah. And that's given them a chance to, to build something and to have a philosophy that, that they can sustain. How about the Packers? The Packers, the unique thing about them is that every, every fan base thinks they own the team, and, and that's great, and they're vested in them. Green Bay, in Green Bay, it's actually publicly owned, mm -hmm. which is an incredible mm -hmm. model, and it's incredible how successful they've been uh, with that model. Yeah, really cool. Yeah, the Packers offense. Talk about uh, buzzwords. Rebecca was, <laughs> Rebecca was regaling me today with buzzwords for the Packers was she? offense. But I'll ask yes. you anyway. Any buzzwords we can use this party to make people think, wow, this, this person really knows their stuff? With, with Green Bay, you want to use West Coast offense. And, uh -huh. and follow that up with when they ask you, well, what does that mean? Think of, of timing. Think of uh, finesse. Think of short catch and run routes. Those things, if, if you say those few things, You'll look, you'll look good in terms of Green Bay. Do you get I, extra credit if you say Bill Walsh? <laughs> you know, well, yeah, yeah, oh, you, you get oh, a lot of credit okay, for that. All right. These are all words I'm just going to mutter under my breath. <laughs> okay. How about when it comes to the Steelers? Well, the Steelers, it, it's a physical team. They're a physical team. They like to run the ball. But the thing that they do is they throw a lot of long balls. And with Ben Roethlisberger, 25% of his passes have been completed for over 20 yards. And, and that's, that's unique. Mm -hmm. And they ground it, they ground it. Uh, it's physical, and then they throw the deep ball. Okay. That's the offense. Defense yes. is a world you know so well. <laughs> I, I am I am partial to defense, and <laughs> it's easier here because both teams run the 34 defense. And uh, brought a little. All right, right, no, yeah, yeah, no, no, I no like expense that. here. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I notice that the whiteboard gets a little bit smaller as you're a former <laughs> head coach. But what you got to know in terms of the 34 is you're going to have three down linemen right mm. here. Down linemen. Down linemen, and you're going to have the four linebackers right here. Now, Rebecca, you could throw out zone blitz zone if you blitz. want to. Zone blitz, right. everyone. Zone blitz. <laughs> don't try wow, to follow it up with an explanation. You can throw it out. Just don't, don't try to explain it. But with the 34, you've got the three down linemen, the four linebackers, and it gives you a lot of flexibility as to how you can pressure the quarterback, mm. and both teams run it. Okay. The player with the most at stake, at stake tomorrow on either side. That that player would be Doug Ligurski. Okay, Ligurski. Doug, Doug Ligurski. Uh -huh. He's a, uh, a free agent uh, who's only started four games for Pittsburgh and hasn't started a game at center form. And he's going to start at center uh, in the Super Bowl. So he, he's got a lot of things that he's going to have to handle in terms of their pressure package and, and a lot of responsibility. Speaking of pressure, Steelers. the app table for me is the biggest pressure point. What do you recommend? Okay, it's a longer pregame. It's a longer halftime. you got to pace yourself. It's the same thing we tell the, tell the players. <laughs> for me, I'd, I'd start with the chips, uh, the pretzels, the nachos. That, that's my favorite. Work your way down the field. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work to that more into the uh, late into the first quarter, early into the second quarter, and then I'll punctuate it with some, uh, some chicken wings. He lost 50 pounds. He knows what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah. hey, Coach, thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate Thank you. it. Appreciate it. I'll talk to you later. Eric Mangini. You, your local news is next. So, Coach, I have a question. Okay. Do you mind if I uh, keep this for my Super Bowl game? You could. I think I'm going to bring it to the party um, at Matt's place <laughs> and uh, just look really smart. I'll just start circling things and we, running plays. We could draw up one of those zone blitzes for you. We could <laughs> take you through it. You're going to make me look really smart? Yeah, yeah. You, to, yeah actually, I, I'd like you to sign it at the end, too, because I no want to hang it on my wall at the end of the we'll game. We'll draw up a middle dog cross. Um, okay, oh, tell me what that goodness. is. That is, they're going to bring... This guy here. Uh huh. Okay, they're going to bring both these two linebackers through the A gap on this side and drop these two guys out here, drop the safety down, and that's a big, big pressure that both teams run. Hmm. It's hard to pick up 
because of the way that you have to block it offensively. You got that? Yeah, I, I've got it. I've got it right up here. Right up here, Russ. <laughs> Middle dog cross. Middle dog cross. That's One it. thing I have heard um, is that the Madden Super Bowl game um, on uh, EA Sports yep. actually predicts the outcomes of these games. It's done it right six of the last seven times. Is that the that that's the case? And with the Madden game, what's what's unique about that game is they take into account injuries, they take into account the player's ability, and I think it's one of the best video games in terms of the amount of yeah. information that they take in. And this year, who are they calling? Uh, they're they're calling the uh, the Steelers. Oh, the Steelers. I gotcha. oh, so who do you have, Coach? <laughs> well, here's, here's <laughs> you love those Steelers. <laughs> here's something you need to know is. Pick whoever I, I pick against me because <laughs> my track record has not been very good in in, uh, in picking the team. But I am going with with Pittsburgh to win it. All right, go pack, uh, go, baby. He's right there, <laughs> Eric Mangini. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank Appreciate you. It.